In this video, we're going to have a look at installing a rainwater downpipe. Now to do this, I'm first of all going to swap across to the ground floor plan view and zoom in on the area where I wish to put the downpipe. Next on the architecture tab, component, place a component. You can find in the type selector of the properties, the generic models RWP square. Now, you may need to load family and find from there if it's not in your preset list. So I'm just going to click on the square by there. Now, as we move the cursor towards the wall, you will notice that the cursor locks onto the wall with the blue line appearing. That's where you want the cursor. But of course, we don't want downpipe in the wall. So I'm going to press the space bar to rotate the downpipe and then I'm going to click the mouse and position it and then escape twice to get out of that command. Let's now take a little look at that in our 3D view. As you can see, it's not exactly how we want it. So I'm going to first of all jump to an elevation that looks directly at that from the side. Now we can see there's a couple points. First of all, the position of the downpipe needs to come down a bit so that it actually levels with the bottom of our wall. So I'm going to click on the downpipe and in the constraints, we can see the ground floor is our level. And then I'm going to change the elevation from that to minus and five zero and apply that and we can see that it now has dropped down. But the next point is the height. As we look at the height, we can see that it's in the wrong place. So I'm going to measure using that little measuring tape command from the top of the rainwater pipe to the underside of the gutter and I can see that's 585 so I'll just remember that 585 click on the downpipe and where we've got the height of the downpipe I will change that and by reducing it by the distance I measured so 505 there we go now you will notice that my downpipe does line up. Um, yours may not, so we will address how to change that in a minute. Now, what I'm just going to do is jump back. Uh, as we can see, our pipe is black when we've got all our gutterings and fascias as white. So there's a couple things we want to do. We want to adjust the material to make it white. And we also want to show you how to adjust the position of it from side to side for this top section. So imagine our overhang was over by here. We would then take a measurement again from whatever our pipe was to wherever our fascia board was and then we would either reduce or increase the dimension of this. So we'll just remember that dimension. OK. If you do need to make that change. So now let's click on the downpipe. And we're going to go edit family. First thing here, click on it. And in the properties, we can see the material is the black plastic and I want to change it to the white plastic which we created in a previous video. Click OK. So that will now have changed that but we're not going to load into the project yet. What we're going to now do is highlight it and click the edit sweep and then we can click the sketch path. And the sketch path creates these three pink lines, which show us the path of our pipe. 
And if we click on that very top section, now based on how much you needed to move it, if you needed to reduce it because it was too far away from your fascia, you could just click on this number and reduce that number. Or if you needed to increase it, you could click on that and then add to that number and it will then reposition that line, which is the top section of the pipe for you. So we'll click OK, big green tick, and again. And then finally, we load into project. And yes, I'll do that for now. OK. So we can see now we've got our pipe in the correct position. And if we go to our 3D view, our downpipe is also the correct material.